Yo, what's cracking people? It's will be sure. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Wi-Fi battle stuff. This is another black and white Wi-Fi battle here, and I really didn't have time to upload this uh, last week. Uh, but this week I actually got quite a lot of time, considering that I have this big-ass exam. It's like uh, speech exams. I gotta hold a speech for, like, my teacher and stuff, and uh, that's gotta be a pain, but we have two days off school because of that. We're gonna be home and study a lot and uh, you know I'm almost done with the presentation already so I got a lot of time left that I can use on Pokemon and stuff and gaming and stuff but I still gotta work a lot with it though but yeah I, I figured I might as well just narrate this battle for you guys now it's a battle here against a guy named Yu Yu Swag from the Smug Gun Battle Finder and it is an NE tier battle as you can see that's what I normally play and I'm using, actually, a team that I've been doing quite well with, actually, on PO. Um, it's been winning me a lot of games, and, um, yeah, I think it's really fun to use. Now, pretty much the only things that might threaten me out a little bit is his Shuckle, and possibly his Slacking, because uh, I know that thing is pretty fast, and it's got a lot of attack, so I gotta be careful for those things, uh, or those things, rather. Um, and uh, not really anything else that's really that uh, painful or uh, threatening, other p other than possibly his uh, Grumpig, because that thing might be choice specs, and that might be a pain in the Astra handle as well, because, um, you know, my Vileplume is the only specially defensive poke on my team, and, uh, you know, that thing is weak to Psychic, so I gotta watch out for that thing as well, but... Yeah, other, th other than that, his team looks pretty standard. He's using some stuff like Gigalith. I didn't even know Gigalith was NU. I checked and it was actually NU, so... Yeah, that's that, and he's got a Lapras as well, which is not that big of a problem, because I got uh, Granbull with Close Combat and Vile Plume, so... Yeah, he's gonna lead off with What's Good, which is his uh, slacking, and I'm gonna lead off with Persian, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get the hell out of here right now, because I don't want to get... Um, I don't want to get raided by a return from that thing, so... I'm gonna go for the U-turn right now, and that's actually gonna do a decent chunk, uh, considering that thing has got massive, massive HP, so... I'm gonna switch out of there into Sandshrew, because I know I can take any hit, because this thing is a beast. Now, what I actually found out right here was that Tron can actually activate, even though the poke actually flinches, so... If he, for example, goes for the move, and then he Tron's another round, and I go for the fake out the next round, uh... And then he, his flinch, you know, then the Tron will activate the next the next round as well, which is pretty crazy. I don't know if I explained that right, but you probably get what I mean. So, now, he's gonna send on Gigalith, I'm gonna send on Grand Bull. This thing is Choice Banded Adamant, and watch this. Watch this! It takes it out in one shot. That is amazing right there. Grand Bull, you are a beast. I'll use this thing a lot from now on, man. This, this Grand Bull right here was absolutely amazing in this battle, so... He's gonna send on his slacking again. I don't want to stay in here because that thing could just easily rape me to death. So I'm gonna send a Sandshrew. He's gonna go for the retaliate, and I'm like, okay, good. I switch out of there, and that's actually gonna kill off Sandshrew in one shot from that range of health, which just proves how incredibly strong this slacking right here is. Uh, and retaliate on slacking. That's pretty nice, actually. I'm gonna try that out sometime if I'm gonna use slacking. But yeah, either way, it is an awesome revenge killer because it's got a lot of speed. A lot of attack and a lot of HP, but it's got that ability, which is not really that great at all. If it didn't have that ability, that thing would have been uber instantly, because that thing is so freaking awesome. So, he's going to send in his uh, Rapid Ash. I'm going to put that thing to sleep right now, and I make kind of a risky move right here. I just continuously stay in here, go for the Sludge Bomb until that thing dies, and uh, fortunately for me, does not wake up, which was kind of lucky. I was kind of taking a lot of risks right there because he could have potentially woken up any time I could have been kind of a lucky but you know I was lucky and I um, or he didn't uh, wake up at all so that's pretty nice so he's gonna send in his uh, grumpig right here and I'm gonna have to switch out of there right now because I don't want to take a psychic to the face so I'm gonna send in Persian uh, just to see what he's got to do and pretty much as a fodder and I see that he's got the light screen so I'm like okay I'm gonna have to taunt him or else he's gonna set up the reflect and that's exactly what happens I taunt him and uh, he tries to set up Reflect, which is nice, because, um, you know, that means he can't go for any moves. He can't go for any non-attacking moves. So I go for the U-turn. I know if he doesn't switch out of there, he's definitely going to go for the Psychic. So I'm going to go ahead and send in a uh, Mamala right now. And uh, this thing is somewhat specially defensive. Um, I, I really don't know the spreads on this thing. I, I really can't remember. But I do take that um, Psychic quite nicely, though. And uh, he's going to switch out of there into his... Um, 
Lapras' turn, and um, I believe I actually go for the waterfall. Yeah, I do go for the waterfall, which was absolutely stupid. And uh, I was actually su surprised at the fact that he actually heals up all damage um, when he sends in his Lapras. That kind of tells me that he's actually a specially defensive Lapras, or else he would not be at full right now. So he's gonna go for the Toxic at me as well, and that's gotta kind of suck because that means that there's gotta be a potential stall war going on later on in the battle. So. I'm just gonna go to switch out of there because I really don't. I really don't feel like stalling at all. So I'm, I'm gonna try to switch out of there into Valplume, I believe. No, I guess I sent a Persian first just because I thought he was gonna go for like Dragon Dance or something. I just wanna try to hinder him doing that. But he actually goes for the Thunderbolt, which is not gonna do much at all because it's not stab, you know. So now I'm gonna try to go for the Taunt, I believe. Just or no, I go for, I go for the Return. Just get that damage off in it. Um, I go for the return, and um, since he went for the Thunderbolt, uh, the last turn I know is not one of those Dragon Dancers, so I can just I can just safely go for the return, and uh, that's got to do a lot of damage. So now I'm gonna go ahead and send in, I believe I'm gonna send in Grand Bull or something. Yeah, I send in Grand Bull, and uh, I'm gonna go for the return, which is easily gonna finish that thing off because I'm Choice Banded, and uh, that thing doesn't really that have have that great of physical defense apparently, and that was a useless crit by the way because I'm Choice Banded, so. Yeah, uh, the light screen wears off, and uh, the light screen was just absolutely useless on this battle because um, I was only using physical attackers. Now, right here, this kind of pisses me off. Like, he goes for the Thunder Wave, and I get fucking Parahacked first turn, which is just stupid as hell. That's just so stupid. And he manages to set up a reflect, and I'm gonna go for the return again, and um, I take him out, you know. So, and now he's got to reflect up, and that's gotta kind of suck because. Um, most of my pokes left that I have are physical attackers, so I gotta be kind of careful uh, right here. I'm gonna send in Vile Plume, or Vile, whatever, Vile Plume. Um, I don't know really. I, I think, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get killed in one shot because of the. Uh, I, I believe this thing is actually Choice Banner. Well, it looks like it's Choice Banner because, um, you know, that Retaliator killed off uh, Vile Plume in one hit. But I do manage to activate the uh, Effect Spore, which is actually a Dream World ability that Vile Plume has. So if anyone, any one of you are asking, then that's why you know the effect. It is. God damn it! Why do I make mistakes at the end of a battle? I always seem to do that for some reason. But that thing has a dream world, a dream world ability called Effect Support, and that's pretty much the effect of it. I'm, I'm sure y'all guys know what Effect Support is, you know. So, yeah, the, that was the game. I killed off that struggle in one shot. Um, I guess that thing is like physically defensive or something. So I don't know. I, I don't think it's like. That much orientated and special defense. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Uh, if you didn't leave a like rating, if you did not, then leave a dislike. I'm okay with that. And uh, about PBR battles, I'm probably not gonna upload them this week because I did a lot of, or I did I did a few like uh, black and white battles, and uh, then I realized that I didn't have much time left. And I completely forgot to do PBR battles, so there will be no PBR battles this week. Unfortunately, I'm sorry about that, but I'll do them next week instead because. Um, I have a lot more time next week, um, and the next week after that, that's the last week I have at school, and uh, then I got summer holidays and stuff, which is going to be amazing, there's going to be a lot of videos up then, so yeah, I look forward to that, hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and uh, I'll catch you guys later, peace!